you see it is in continental margins. It's not in the middle of the ocean, it's in continental margins. And in the permafrost area, Siberia here, and in, in the Arctic. In the permafrost region, we think that some methane hydrate apparently are already dissociating. Now, how much of it is happening and why do we care about it? Because there's so much of it. And these units are in 10 to the 15 tons, gigatons. We're talking about a thousand trillions, okay? So it's 10,000, thousand trillion of uh, tons of gas hydrates. If we take all the fossil fuel on Earth, there is more carbon in the gas hydrates than in the fossil fuel. So we're talking about something enormous. The moment you take it away from the seafloor, see what is happening to this hydrate. It is decomposing. You will see now, that is a Barkley Canyon, that is a submersible and a, a, a robot, which is picking up a piece. The hydrate is less dense than seawater, so it's floating if you take it away from the seafloor. So you can imagine if suddenly there will be a decomposition of a lot of hydrate, what can happen in the oceanic environment? Here you see floating pieces there because they are less dense than seawater. And you see, start seeing some bubbling because it was taken away from the sediment. It starts bubbling. And now they're sort of analyzing it by laser. But very soon you will see uh, the fate of these hydrates if they indeed get released from the seafloor or from the slope and start floating in the ocean. So here you see a piece holding, the submersible is holding it and watching it. And you see very slowly it starts to bubble because it was protected by some oil. You see the yellowish part is protected by oil. But you see the bubbling is increasing with time. And very soon you will see some, you see still some oil here. And very soon you will see how quickly it bubbles and eventually it's going to decompose completely. And eventually, in a very short time, it just disappears and the methane will be oxidized by oxygen to CO2. Some of it may go to the atmosphere and cause some global warming. So here we are worried that one of the problem is if some of the methane hydrates succeed to go decompose and the methane succeeds to go to the atmosphere, then methane is a very potent greenhouse gas. What is very clear that climate change may already, if not, it most likely will impact the sink of the sequestration of gas hydrate, because if the ocean is warmer, the depth range that gas hydrates can occur will decrease. And it also will affect the this number four. First of all, if the ocean is warmer, there is less dissolved oxygen in the ocean. So it will affect at least these two sinks of the hydrate, so most likely more uh, methane will succeed to go to the atmosphere.